Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is I'm going to give you your romantic reading, which is valid until the end of this month. I've decided to go on and just use my Lenormand's deck in addition to two additional um, oracle cards to just give you a bit more pardon advice into your situation, okay? The cards have already sh I've already shuffled as illustrated as we see here. And if the reading resonates with you guys, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, Scorpios, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, I'm going to go on and get started by just making a few general observations and then we're going to just dive right into your reading, okay? I'm um, Just by looking at these cards here, I, the, the person or the energy or the people that I kind of see coming towards you um, from now until the end of this month seems to be an individual that... If you are not already married, um, Scorpio, I'm kind of feeling that this person may have, uh, may already have, or be already committed to someone else, or um, is somewhat unavailable. Okay, I'm also feeling that the person, and it may be multiple people in here in your reading here. Okay, um, I'm getting a sense of a very active type person who is very sexual and certainly a cheater. I'm getting an older type person I'm picking up, very experienced, mature, even for some of you, you might be quite famous, okay? I'm getting a very successful person, you know, very attention, attentive or attention driven or, you know, even it looks like it's someone from your past that you felt that you can trust perhaps that might be returning in some sense, I'm kind of getting, okay? So let's go on and get started here and we're going to start off with... You know, the cards um, that fell to the bottom of the deck here. And actually, I pulled um, three on accident here. We have this this coffin card there. And Pluto rules this card, ladies and gentlemen. And this card is all about, you know, really negative events and changes and, you know, life alterations that usually come up. And it's associated with fire type signs, Leos, Aries, and um, Sagittarius. Okay, so, you know, what I'm seeing here, particularly with this card here, is kind of um, kind of suggesting that, you know, with, when you're having that coffin card, it certainly shows that someone from your past certainly might have, um, in fact, returned there when I'm seeing here. And it shows, too, that, that many of you, you know, have kind of been subject to a prolonged period of hurting you know, connected with this individual or an individual um, that you feel that you felt that you can trust here because you have that dog card um, that was loyal or that you thought you can, can trust, you know. And the relationship, you know, with this snake card being there seems to have been kind of um, based on a lot of cheating and a lot of deception and a lot of lying. So you have this energy that seems to be kind of coming towards you. And just getting back with the coffin, you know, this, I mean, the coffin, the person might even be a doctor or a counselor or a therapist of some sort, or might even be a security type person or works in the military, you know, but the person appears to be very, very, I'm feeling I'm very kind of deceptive. And with this coffin card, they might even be even work in a funeral business or, or work as an undertaker, or, you know, or something, or even, in fact, an archaeologist, but it looks like they have very distinctive features. I'm feeling very dark, maybe set type eyes, but they it seems like they're very negative and depressed. But again, someone with a low self esteem that seems to have potentially returned, you know, from your past. And it looks like that you feel because you have that dog card there, feel as if the person is in fact somehow connected or it's your soulmate. And this doll card, it, Venus rules this card, and it's connected with water signs, you know, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And once again, it's all about a friend that you're feeling that you have a soulmate, or, you know. So it shows the, the death of a, of a relationship that you had with a friend that you thought that was very loyal, who in fact turned out to be very, you know, deceptive here, you know, when you're kind of seeing that snake card there. And with the snake card, ladies and gentlemen, Mars and Uranus are the rulers, okay? And it connects us once again to water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. And again, it's all about, you know, manipulation, tricks, cheating, and deception. So it shows, too, that 
the energy that seems to be coming towards you or the energy that maybe you've been thinking about in terms of the person. They have they were very or they are very abusive and a manipulator and even in fact um, some of them might even steal or lie. But I'm I'm getting very strong dark features, a slim type frame, okay, um, a sweet talker type person and and more than likely a backstabber. Okay, so let's go on and just look at the cards here that, that kind of falls to your past here. We have that rain card there. So with this card, Venus rules this card and it's connected with Earth type signs, Virgo, Taurus, as well as Capricorns. And it's all about agreements and contracts between two people like a marriage or a bond or something of that nature. Okay, and it could the, the person that I'm getting here looks like they have a yellowy type I'm feeling complexion and they kind of appeared reliable and dedicated and I'm also getting a, a a plumped or heavier set or you know a nicely built type person that comes up in this cart who I'm feeling or that I'm kind of feeling that with this person it seems like this card is is kind of showing that in the past or presently many of you may have kind of gotten yourself involved it looks like with a person already married again or involved elsewhere. Or per, or perhaps some of you may have met someone new or even perhaps, you know, sat down and, and, and committed to one another with some type of an engagement um, to try to, you know, I'm feeling to make your um, or strengthen your, reun your union or make it a little bit uh, stronger than what it is, you know. And then when you have this, this whip card here that's falling next there, Mars and Pluto rules that card. And it's connected once again with water um, type signs, so Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios. And this card is connected with all about, you know, fighting and emotional upheavals and separations and arguments of all sorts. So it's with this card, it seems that, you know, you began having a lot of fights and arguments, even hot sex, because... This card connects with a person that you may have been involved with that might even be a bodybuilder, you know, that was kind of violent, violent and very competitive. And I'm feeling that he or she might have even been addicted to something, some drugs or either alcohol or, or just doing something a little bit too much. And, you know, uh, indeed, the person was well endowed. And as for the female, she really had a nice type figure, I'm feeling here, that I'm getting here. And it looks like that, you know, when you're having um, this Lily card here that that kind of falls next, that card is certainly, um, ladies and gentlemen, that card is all about, you know, satisfaction and peace. And the ruler of this card is Saturn, and it's connected with Earth signs once again, Capricorn, you know, Taurus, as well as Virgos. And this card kind of asks you to relax, and it kind of shows... In fact, that even despite, you know, all the difficulties with the with the whip card that, that the whip card can bring here, it just shows that despite the fact that you may have gone through that, it's showing that satisfaction and peace is going to be, are going to be re restored. And this card is kind of asking you to kind of uh, relax and, and it shows a pleasurable time that is to be expected for you. And for some of you, this might also be with someone older here because this lily usually identifies someone older or it could be like an old, a, a second chance at love for you, like a, you know, an older type romance, okay? Yet, the, re the relationship or your involvement with this person could lead to something very, very seriously, serious. So here again, you might want to kind of be a bit more patient with this card because although... Love will be offered. The hint here or the key here is to try not to rush things or even, um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, make any type of uh, hasty type decisions, okay? And you also have an another very good card here. You have the flowers. So Venus rules that card and that connects us with earth signs once again. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this card is all about happiness and joy and and ladies and gentlemen, wishes coming true. So this card is kind of urging that if you kind of remain patient, as these cards have been indicating, despite the fact that you may have gone through a tumultuous type time frame, you know, a happy turn of events is to be expected. 
or you know, and the relationship will flourish just as you see flowers blossoming, you know, and you know you have this sun card right there ending there, and you know this further emphasizes the fact that happiness is 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 coming towards you, you know, and the sun certainly rules itself, and this once again is connected to fire type signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And it also shows, it gives us a time frame for when this is to occur. It looks like it's going to occur no later than the, um, I'm getting um, the, this Sagittarius period. It could occur sooner, but I think that you'll really start seeing this a lot more during the, um, the Sagittarius period. And it looks like that this person that you're going to be connecting with seems very confident. Even for some of you just as mentioned from the onset, famous. But the person seems to brag a lot or exaggerates things a lot. But I kind of feel that this person is in a very high type position, maybe a vice president or manager or, or some type of director. They're in a very tight, a very high, you know, type position that I'm getting here. So, you know, having said that, I'm gonna just move on and just examine these additional oracle cards that you know, that I thought that would be useful in terms of giving you a bit more parting advice, ladies and gentlemen, to your situation. So we're going to start off with release card. OK, and that card just as you know, you would expect it to mean is basically all about getting rid of old garbage and discarding and kind of, you know, transformation. So it shows that you guys have a very good chance, the opportunity right now for you to renew things and to restore things. It's you know, it's here, it's present, you know, and once you kind of release and let go of these past hurts that you've been feeling, it would allow it to come in, you know, a lot quicker, you know, and sometimes you might, you know, feel a need to kind of hold on to the things that you cherish the most, um, but that can lead to tensions and, and various unhappiness, okay, so it's best that you allow this relationship, should you guys reconcile or should you allow yourself to reconcile your differences, is to give each other breathing space to kind of grow, you know, and ask yourself, Scorpio, are you kind of uh, smothering or, or mothering um, the individual and not really giving the person, you know, space, you know? So discard your need to kind of be right or to be con in control of the situation. Just let go and just see what happens, okay? Um, and one of the things, too, that also seems to come up with this card is that, you know, sometimes this card could be all about endings, too. So maybe some of you might have to release one of your relationships in order to kind of move forward. It is asking you to stop clinging to things that no longer serve your need. You know, try to let go of of difficult situations or things that have kind of sabotaged you, if you will, in the past, you know? And just open yourself up more to, with this card here, to giving and receiving is just what that card means, you know? Allow yourself to give and allow yourself to receive, okay? And allow yourself to make the necessary adjustments as required by the number six here to move forward and to kind of bring your relationships to a more harmonious state. So Scorpios, this is what I have for you. Once again, I hope that this reading has added value to what you've already contemplated. If you'd like to have a more um, specific reading, you can certainly contact me at wat61073 um, at gmail.com. And once again, if this reading has resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to, to do so now. And I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.